and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I built a 1 to 400 scale replica of the Los Angeles International Airport, or LAX. This 1 to 400 super replica of the airport is a diorama of LAX and will be featuring retro airlines in today's airport update. Included in today's airport update is never shown before footage of my brand new Tom Bradley International Terminal by Tarmac Designs. So without further ado, let's begin today's airport update of Retro LAX. Here we go. And yo, welcome to today's airport update. This is Hawaiian Air 2121. Today I have a very, very special airport update for you all. Months planning to take this airport update. This is Retro LAX. I cannot wait to get you guys started in today's video. Included in today's video is never before shown footage of the Tom Bradley International Terminal, Terminals 3, 5, 7, and 8, and more. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. Here we go. And to start us off for today's retro airport update of Los Angeles International Airport, over here at gate 131 over here, we have this Aerolinas Argentinas Airbus A340-300. What a classic aircraft this is. This aircraft is first receiving its fuel for the flight out to Buenos Aires, Argentina. And up next at gate 133, we have this Qantas Airbus A330-200 in the One World delivery. This aircraft is receiving its catering on board for the flight out to Brisbane, Australia. I should mention that if you see these uh, these um, these catering trucks over here, I did purchase these from Tiny Tug Designs on eBay.com. You can use coupon code Hawaii10 for 10% off your order. That's coupon code Hawaii10 for 10% off your order of any GSC that he has. His GSC is fantastic. And our first special livery aircraft over here. Here's a model I barely showcase at all, the Qantas 767-300 in the Disney's Planes special livery. What a fantastic model this is by Gemini Jets. Sure as hell is a rare one. This aircraft is getting its catering on board, as well as its luggage at gate 135 for the flight out to Sydney. And over here we have the stunning Qantas Airlines Airbus A380 in the old livery. Uh, I should say this is in the old livery for the retro airport update that I'm doing today. This aircraft is just hard standing at the gate waiting to first board up its passengers in one hour for the flight out to Sydney, Australia as well over here. And uh, this is the three gate configuration here at the Tom Bradley International Terminal. As you'll see the A380 gate is attached over here. And over here at gate 134, we have this Iberia Boeing 767-300 over here. This aircraft arrived at the gate 15 minutes ago from the turn from Madrid, Spain. I should mention that you'll kind of see this blank slated wood over here. I do have to repaint this board and make it super realistic. Expect to see that next couple months here at LAX. And arriving at the gate over here, we have this British Airways Queen of the Skies Boeing 747-400. God, I love this aircraft. This aircraft arrived at the gate, uh, well, it is arriving at the gate with the tug over here from the flight from London Heathrow. I should mention over here that you can kind of see this GSC in the tunnels over here by the central concourse, by concourse PC4 over here. This is my first airport update using this brand new Tom Bradley International Terminal. If you haven't already checked out my video unboxing this massive terminal, I would highly recommend you guys check it out. And over here to begin us for the South Concourse over here, we have this Qatar Airways Airbus A380-800, another model I barely showcase, but today's airport update, I am going to showcase this model. This Airbus A380 is first blowing up its passengers, crew, and luggage for the flight out to Doha. And over here we have this Air China Boeing 777-200ER. This aircraft is in line for takeoff and is taxiing towards the runway for the flight out to Hong Kong. And over here, our next aircraft is our third Airbus A380 in line. Over here, we have the Lufthansa Airbus A380 
This aircraft arrived at the gate 20 minutes ago from Munich. And over here we have the Emirates Boeing 777-300ER over here. As you can see again, I do have to repaint this board so you'll kind of see the grass to the lower right hand of your screen. This all has to be repainted and put in a great undertone for the concrete tiles of the LAX Tom Bradley International Terminal. So bear with me as I have to repaint this board. But over here we have this Emirates Boeing 777-300ER in line for to board for the flight out to, out to Dubai. Got too excited there. <laughs> And over here, we have this KLM Sky Team Boeing 777-300ER. This KLM aircraft is in the Sky Team livery, and this aircraft is first wearing up its passengers for the flight out to Amsterdam. It will depart the gate in approximately 45 minutes after some light tap traffic on the taxiway. Over here, we have a Virgin Atlantic Airbus A330-300, first pushing into the gate from the flight from London Heathrow. After it hooks up to the gate, it will deboard its passengers and luggage. And over here at the other side of the South Concourse, to the left of your screen, I do have to kind of repaint this area, so that's why these gates are kind of closed over here to the left of your screen. But to the center hand of your screen, we have this Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 767-300. Ooh, what a rare aircraft. This aircraft is first in line to board for the flights out to Honolulu, Hawaii. And before we move on to Terminal 3, we have this Hawaiian Airlines Airbus A330-200 arriving at the gate five minutes ago from the flight from Kona. Alrighty, so over here, moving along to Terminal 3 now. Terminal 3 at LAX serves WestJet, uh, Aeromexico, and Delta Airlines. Over here at the gate, we have this Aeromexico Boeing 777-200ER in Chrome, perfectly fitting the retro schemes here in today's airport update. This aircraft is catering on board for the flights out to Mexico City. And the first of our new models is today's airport update. We have a ton of new models for today's airport update. Over here we have this Delta MD-90 in the colors in motion Delta flot livery. This aircraft is being tugged out of its gate for the flight out to Phoenix Sky Harbor and is one of many new models of today's airport update. Over here is a stunning view of this Delta Airlines Boeing 767-300 over here waiting for its fuel for the Transcon flight out to Boston Logan today. Here we have this Delta Connection uh, Bombardier CRJ700 over here in a Soaring Spirit Special Comair livery in the Delta Colors and Motion livery. This aircraft is just arriving at the gate from the flight from San Diego, California, and will deboard all of its passengers and luggage in five minutes. Over here, second for our new models, this is Delta Airlines MD-88 in the Colors and Motion livery. This aircraft is first going up its crew to clean the plane for the flight out to Hartsfield, Jacksonville, Atlanta International Airport. A lot of the new models you'll see are out of this terminal. And oh baby, another new model. We have this Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200 over here in the Ron Allen livery by NG Models. I finally found this model. I have the Gemini just version and now here's the NG version. It's a fantastic model. Expect to see it next massive unboxing. This aircraft is getting his luggage on board for the flight out to Denver, Colorado. And yet again, we have another new model, a Delta Airlines MD-90, deploying all of its passengers and luggage for the flight from Seattle, Washington. Oh my goodness, I can't keep up with the new models. Yet again, we have another new model, a Delta Airlines uh, E-145 in the special livery. I'm not sure what this, this is the 800th Embraer E-145 by Delta Connection. This aircraft is just waiting to hook up to the gate for the flight from, we will say, Grand Junction, Colorado. For the last of the new models, my goodness, we have this Delta 767-400 in the colors and motion livery. Love this model, I absolutely love it. It's first bring up all of its passengers and crew for Honolulu, Hawaii. Over here is this Delta Airlines Boeing 757-200 in the Ron Allen livery by Gemini Jets. Still a fairly good model, even though I prefer the NG one. This aircraft is first blowing up all of its passengers and crew, as well as getting its catering on board any minute now for the flight out to Chicago ORD.
And to start us off for Terminal 5 here at LAX, we have this Continental Airlines Boeing 757-300, known as the Flying Pencil. This never gets old. This aircraft is getting its catering and fuel on board for the flight out to New York Liberty International Airport, one of Continental Airlines hubs. And then we have this Continental Boeing 737-800, deboarding all of its passengers, luggage, and crew from the flight from Houston IAH today. Up next, we have this Continental Airlines Boeing 737-500 over here. Such a rare aircraft to see. This aircraft is also first blowing up its passengers for the same destination, Houston IAH, Continental Super Hub at the time. And this aircraft will depart the gate in 45 minutes. Over here is an aircraft I didn't really know where Northwest Airlines went back in the day before they merged with Delta. So I kind of stuck them in Terminal 5 over here. This Northwest Airlines Boeing 757-200 is receiving its fuel on board for the flight out to Detroit Metropolitan City International Airport. And taxiing towards Terminal 3, we have this Aeromexico Boeing 737-700 arriving in for the flight from Guadalajara. And over here is a custom model, a Frontier Airlines E-190. Now, believe it or not, Frontier Airlines used to operate E-190s. Uh, they were Republic Airways part of their fleet. I'm going to send the Frontier E-190 right back out to Denver, Colorado. And up next, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A318 and the Griswold, the Bear Tail. This Griswold aircraft is going to get its boarding any minute now for the flight out to... I'm going to send this aircraft to Las Vegas. And then we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A319 being tugged out of its gate. This aircraft is in the Perry the Puffin Tail and is being tugged out of its gate for the flight out to Denver, Colorado. With a stunning view of Terminal 7, we have this US Airways Express Embraer E145. This aircraft is waiting for the Frontier Airlines uh, Airbus A319 to so depart its gate. This aircraft just arrived at the airport for the flight from Las Vegas. And kind of a different view over here, we have a US Airways uh, Boeing 757-200 in the Darth Vader livery. Getting its catering on board for the flight out to, uh, I'm going to send this aircraft to Philadelphia as a Transcon flight. Last but not least for Terminal 5, we have this US Airways uh, Airbus A319 in the Nevada Battleborn State livery. Such a stunning aircraft, I really love US Airways, their heritage tales, they're just saying to see them go. This aircraft is getting its catering and luggage on board for the flight out to Phoenix Sky Harbor. Moving along to Terminal 7 now. Terminal 7 is United Airlines hub and back in the day you used to see a whole bunch of blue tulip planes out of Terminal 7. Over here we have this United Express E145 first blowing up its passengers for the flight out to San Francisco, California. And then we have the United Airlines Airbus A320 in a Stars and Bars Friendship Special Heritage Livery. This aircraft is deboarding all of its luggage and passengers from the flight from Chicago ORD. It arrived at the gate 10 minutes ago. Up next, we have my favorite United Express aircraft, the Saab 340B United Express in the blue tube livery, getting its luggage on board for the flight out to San Luis Obispo. And at gate 75, we have this United Airlines Boeing 757-200. The cabin crew is cleaning up this plane for the flight out to Boston Logan. Another classic aircraft over here, we have this United Airlines Boeing 767-300 in the blue tulip livery. Love this model a ton. This aircraft is receiving its first passengers for the flight out to Tokyo Haneda. A little bit of a bird's eye shot. We have this United Express Ember E170 in the X Plus seating configuration. This aircraft is waiting for its luggage for the flight out to Portland, Oregon. And over here we have this TED United Airlines Airbus A320. This is in the TED seating configuration, so every seat was economy on this aircraft. This aircraft is first blowing up its passengers and crew and is waiting for its catering for the flight out to Denver, Colorado. Here at the gate, we have this United Airlines Boeing 777-200. This aircraft arrived at the gate 20 minutes ago from the JFK turn and is just finishing up deep warning all of its passengers. And next up is Terminal 8. Terminal 8 is also United Airlines hub terminal. 
Over here we have probably the sexiest aircraft there is of today's airport update. The United Airlines Boeing 747-400 in the blue tulip livery. God, this aircraft is amazing. This aircraft is heavily being catered for the flights up to Honolulu, Hawaii. Here we have a United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Battleship Grey livery, getting its catering on board for the flights out to Bogota. Before we move on to the main satellite terminal, we have this United Airlines Boeing 737-300 over here, arriving at the gate from the flight from uh, Houston IAH. And now moving along to the main satellite terminal, this is kind of all the airlines that couldn't fit in the other terminals. We have this American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the Breast Cancer Awareness livery. Such a stunning model by NG Models. This aircraft is heavily being catered for the flights out to London Heathrow. Up next, we have this Mad Dog American Airlines MD-82. This aircraft is just, the crew is going to be boarding up this plane and clean the plane for the flights out to DFW today. Here we have this American Eagle CRJ-700. This CRJ-700 is first boarding up its passengers and crew and is waiting for its final luggage to board the plane for the flights out to Salt Lake City. Taxing past Terminal 7, we have this American Airlines Boeing 757-200 over here. Taxing past Terminal 7 and waiting for the aircraft to depart Gate 10. It's arriving at the airport from the flight from Miami. Waiting for the air stairs for the uh, rear of this aircraft to just kind of board the final crew of this plane. We have this American Eagle 8 year 72 This aircraft is waiting for its final crew members to board the plane for the flight out to, we're gonna send this aircraft to San Francisco. And as mentioned earlier, we have this stunning American Airlines Boeing 757-200 over here with the AA.com winglets departing gate 10 for the flight out to John F. Kennedy International Airport. And over here, we can kind of see the passengers and crew of this aircraft, the baggage loader crew. We have this American Airlines Boeing 737-800 without winglets. This aircraft is finalizing all of its luggage for the flight out to Seattle, Washington. Heavily being catered with fuel, we have a common destination for this aircraft, this Aerotran Boeing 717-200. Also a new model, if you haven't checked out my massive unboxing of this aircraft, I highly recommend it. This is a super rare aircraft. This aircraft is getting its fuel on board for the flight out to Las Vegas today. And oh baby, up next we have the super rare Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-500 in the Shamu SeaWorld 1 livery. I love this aircraft. This aircraft is just about ready to depart its gate for the flight out to Sacramento, California. And over here we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 with winglets. This aircraft arrived at the gate from the flight from Dallas Love Field. Departing gate number 20, we have this Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 without winglets. This aircraft is departing the gate for the flight out to Denver, Colorado, a Southwest Airlines Focus City. And arriving at gate 20, we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-300 over here in the Canyon Blue livery. This aircraft is waiting for gate 20 to clear up. It arrived to the airport five minutes ago and is just taxiing on the, air in the aircraft taxiway for the flight from San Diego. Arriving in from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the NBA Slam Dunk Run livery. And this aircraft is arriving at the airport from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And at gate 24, we just have an empty gate over here. This is just going to be an empty gate for the next hour. And for the Alaska lineup, I don't have too many Alaska retro aircrafts. But over here, we have this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-400 over here, first blowing up all of its passengers for the flights out to Portland, Oregon. And over here for our second Alaska gate, we have this Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-400 over here. This aircraft just arrived at the gate from the short flight from San Francisco. I really need to beef up my retro Alaska fleet. As you can see, it's kind of barren over here. So I definitely need to get more retro Alaskas. And up next over here, we have the Sun Country Boeing 737-800 boarding up its first passengers for the flight out to Minneapolis-St. Paul. 
Fourth in line for the departure, we have this Qantas Bunk 747, that's 400 over here. Fourth in line for departure for the flight out to Brisbane, Australia. And back to the American Wide Bodies at gate 11, we have this American Airlines Boeing 767-300 with the AA.com winglet by Gemini Jets. This aircraft is waiting for its first piece of luggage for the flight out to Honolulu, Hawaii. Arriving into gate 9, we have this American Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the One World livery. This model is by NG Models. I also have the Gemini Jets version of this aircraft. It's a fantastic model. Driving into the gate for the flight from JFK. And third in line for departure, we have this Aer Lingus Airbus A330-300. Third in line for departure for the flight out to Dublin, Ireland. Second in line for departure, we have this Delta Airlines Boeing 767-400 over here. This aircraft is second in line for departure for the flight out to JFK. And over here in the gate, we have this American Airlines Boeing 767-300 over here, receiving all of its luggage for the high-density flight out to DFW. It'll depart the gate in 35 minutes. And over here, first in line for departure, we have this United Airlines Boeing 747-200 over here. This aircraft is first in line for departure for the flight out to Tokyo Narita, and this is the last aircraft to today's Retro Airport update. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's airport update of Retro LAX. Please let me know what you thought about this airport update and uh, what you thought about the general format of today's video. Please note that more updates of LAX are coming very, very soon to the channel. Again, LAX is a monthly series of my airport channel. News to come is that San Luis Obispo and other airports are coming, such as Newark Liberty and the return of Houston IAH. And uh, don't forget to use coupon code HAWAII10 for 10% off your order at Tiny Tug Designs. This is Hawaiian Air 2121 signing off. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, everybody.